you and I should do like a 10 minute in the morning. Like these are our goals for the day. We're going to get them done. And then the next yeah. day check in. That'd be an interesting. I think people watch that. You know how to do staging sites and stuff? Do a staging site real fast. I used to, I've done them. I just forget. So what you would do is you would pick, you would go to your websites, right? So Ron is doing a staging site. Okay, go ahead. So which of these do you want to stage? So I don't know. Red Move US is a simple one. Red Move. Red Move Nevada? No, US down below. There we go. So we go to Site Tools. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to do um, uh, WordPress. And then you go to staging. You give it a name. So I would say, you know, staging. Before call it staging. Updating, well, no, it's all staging. Well, before staging. updating WordPress, you give it a name, okay? So that down below, you'll know that this is before updating WordPress. Okay. It is 6.01. It, it's, it's a comment describing oh, why see. you're doing you the staging site. Staging sites and you can delete them? You can make as many as you want, yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you just click create, and then it will crunch for a little bit, and then it will give you a staging site down there. Go ahead and create it. You can create it. And then the purpose there is you create, you do your changes there, then you update it. I don't usually click this. I just say confirm without it because that's that's the error log from the old site. You don't need that on your staging site. Just waste space. So now it's crunching. Um, Yeah, that's, that's different copies yeah so um that's once you've done site. what's that so while it's doing this the other thing i'm going to try to do later today i'm going to think i'm going to take red move nevada which remember has all the back side up on it i'm going to put it into another domain strip it of everything and see if i can make a template that's clean okay so this is your the name you of the work. site maybe um if you hover over this usually it'll tell you you see down below there where it says staging2.redmove.us? Yeah. That's the trick to it. Okay, if you just hover over it, you'll see that's, that's the real website. Yeah. So if I were to go up here to the, to the uh, a new browser window, mm-hmm. staging2. Two. Staging2. Dot, and what was it? Uh, Redmove. Redmove.us. Dot. And so this, this will be your staged site. And it should operate identically to your main site. Yeah. Okay. And then when you when you've done all the stuff that you're doing, okay, then over here, you have the option. You can deploy it, which means anything you've changed in the staging Go site. Go ahead and hit full deploy. And see what it does. Well, you, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. It it'll overwrite your your the primary existing site. Right. Existing site. Right. The the custom deploy. I forgot what that is, but you can click on it and find out. Destroy, Destroy means just wipe it out. Yeah. Replicate it makes makes another copy of this, and then you can rename the staging site too. Now, let's, if you hit deploy, right? It's not, if you hit deploy, it's going to give us the sa- exact same thing back. That's the theory, but I would never do that unless I backed up the primary site. So, how do you back up? Okay, I, I have our okay, so back. Go, I can go in back. That, in that case, you go to security. Okay, you go to security and you go backups. Very good. And then right here, you've got five manual spots left, so you can say backup. Before deploy, Oops. is that five manual just uh, on this staging one domain? Site. Yep, just this one. It's just the uh, red move. See you up here, up on top. Five at any one time. You see that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay. you get four, five at a time. So if you click that, That's okay. Important. Okay. It saves you from going back yeah. a day if you lose it. Yeah, you don't want to take a chance on on if you're going to deploy something onto your site. You better make sure your site, especially a big up. site. We well, have to go back a day. To recover. No, we just go back up right now. You back. No, I'm just you, saying, you, if you don't do this, you can go back a day and get it. You could lose. You could lose a whole day's worth of work. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the way to. And sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it takes like a couple okay. minutes or whatever. We didn't but, do too long. Bad on time. Yep. No, it's pretty good. So you four more. Anyway, so that's. Uh, so what I usually do um, is I'll do a backup before, then I'll do a deploy, else make it all work the way it's supposed to, and then I'll do a backup of, of after deploying. Right. That way you have a before and after, and then you can test it, beat the crap out of it. And if, it, and if you break something on the, on the new site, you can always take it back to the deployed thing, or you can take it to before you deployed it. Yeah. But you can only do that if you, if you religiously make copies, make backups 
Yeah. Okay. But just know that when you do a backup, it's also backing up everything. Okay. Yeah. It's backing up. Like I'll show you. Um, if you look at, at what's being done here, so you've got red move, but you've also got your staging site now. Right. Okay. And in here is all the same stuff. It's the same. So back up the, yeah. And when the backup backed up the back staging site. Right. Too. So you delete yeah. the staging site when you're done. Yeah. Or the backup, you can delete it to yeah. open space. <clears throat> when you when you when you destroy the 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 staging site, mm -hmm. it'll still show up here. But what will, what will disappear? What will disappear will be your folders underneath, except for there's three folders that'll be there or two folders. One will be web stats, and the other will be logs. And that's so it. Here, here's something to ponder. If we go into this backups here, I can try to transfer one first. You can. You, you can uh, let's see. Restore. You restore. might even be able to call them up and ask them if they'd transfer a site. Sometimes they'll do that. Sometimes they, they'll do that. There, there's a way they can transfer. As it long as you there. don't wait till like the day before it expires and do it, then yeah, they'll know why you're doing it. Get rid of what I do is my excuse that I've always used is um, I'm running out of space on this area. I need to move it to an open, more open area. Yeah. Okay, and then you leave all the crap things you don't care about on that site, so that when it expires, it just go away. <laughs> Good idea. Hey, if, okay. com completely different. Have you looked at um, a, our account in uh, Elementor? I went through there and, and took away a lot of the old licenses. I've been con I constantly get rid of old licenses. You got. I did that about that. six months ago. Um, you still have a ton. Yeah, I, I probably have a lot of staging. I probably have a lot of staging sites that I should remove. You have a few but, staging. I just, it, staging okay. I'm just curious. I mean, we got what a thousand sites. So I wouldn't worry about. No, it. I know you have plenty of room. I'm just telling you, you've got about sixty some odd sites. Okay, so I it's no big deal. Me. I'm just thought. I know a lot of those are dormant. I think. Yeah, they probably are. A lot of them are. I just do it from time to time. I look at that site. Yep. You can actually launch and look at the website from there too. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice. Yep. Anything else up? Uh, no, I think, uh, I think gold setting three things. What are you going to do? Well, the main thing today, um, is let's see. I was, I'm I was, recording this now. That's Ron. It's just Ron. Yeah. Well, I already did the things I was planning on doing this morning. So I got to look at what's next. Um, you and I should do like a 10 minute in the morning. Like these are our goals for the day. We're going to get them done and then the next yeah. day check in. That'd be an interesting. I think people watch that. Yeah, I really do. So, I really do. So the thing that this morning I wanted to get working with the map stuff, which now I have working, right? That was a really big deal. Um, the, another thing I want to get working is the membership profile update with automation. We're still and, sharing Okay, so the next thing, the next thing, because I've done that. So the next thing I'm going to do is focus on um, my other membership sites. So I have um, not memberships, my other membership levels. I've got four membership levels two of which now work properly. I'm going to make the other two so the upgrade paths work properly. And um, so that, because my goal is to get all my four memberships functional so that when I, when I finish the quiz funnel process, I have four targets for the, for the potential quiz takers to go. So. What are the if you could, please come right here and go to Ask Bill Conrad and subscribe right here. It should be right about there. Appreciate you tuning in today. If you have any more questions, please leave them down below in YouTube. And uh, hope this helped. Take care. Till next time, be safe. Check into AskBillConrad.com.